We've got some beautiful homes to show you today. And what's really nice about it is we are in North Peoria and we are surrounded by some really nice mountain views. It doesn't show up very well in the camera right here, but if you come out early enough, because it's a new subdivision, you can pick a lot and have a gorgeous, beautiful mountain view. And it's really, really nice. But getting back to the homes that we're gonna be showcasing you today, we are doing Beezer Homes, North Peoria. It is North Point. It's part of Estancia, but it has its own amenities. Out here, as far as what we're gonna be showing you, we have this bed, this bedroom, we have this home. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. And we have this beautiful two-story home, four bedrooms, three baths. Master primary bedroom is downstairs, and it also has an office. But if you need an extra bedroom, you could turn that office into a bedroom and a full size bathroom. However, if you don't need that extra bedroom, you can make it into an office, a teen room, a flex room, a computer room, a game room, whatever you want to have for the kids. But either way, we're gonna show you some wonderful homes. We are out here in Peoria, Arizona. The builder is Beezer Homes, your realtor, Mary Kay Marino. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go show you the homes, let's go. We have, as you can see, a very nice two-story home right here. It is called the Geneva. It is five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 2,804 square feet. And as you can see, it is a two-car two garage. And it is built, as I said, by Beezer Homes. So let's go ahead and go on in and show you this beautiful home. You have options here. And you know, I like options. And so I will show them to you. It says, come on in. So let's go ahead and go on in. Alrighty, so we are standing right here by the front door. And as you can see, all the way down, your eye takes you all the way out to the bank of windows, out to the backyard. And as we walk through, I'm going to quickly show you, I'm going to turn to the left. This is where the offices are, right here. And this is actually would be a wall where your garage is. So this would be just one wall and you wouldn't have this open at all. However, coming back to the front door, we're gonna then start in and turn and circle around to the right. We have, this is where some options start. You can use this as a office, a den, a game room, a flex room, a teen room, a whatever you want room, a get out of my hair kids room, whatever you want. It has a window to the front. However, if you need and want an extra bedroom, you can make this a bedroom. And this right now is being shown as a guest half bath. They would turn this into a full bath for this bedroom. So I'll bring you into it a little better. And as I mentioned, window to the front of the house. And then your closet would be right here. And here would be your full bathroom if you were to have a bedroom down here. This coat closet right here would not be here any longer because they would utilize that for the full bathroom. But as they show it right now, it is a half bath right here. And right now it is, as you can see, a coat closet. And then backing out of here, we're going to go down into the hallway, go into the main part of the house. It brings us right into the kitchen area. I'll give you a look at that and I'll let you take it in from right here. They have stainless steel appliances. They have gas stovetop, and it opens up right into the dining room and also the family room. But swinging you back into the kitchen so that you can take a better look at it, they have the chocolate covered uh, cabinets, which is very nice. They have a very nice wide um, kitchen island right here. And it seats comfortably, as you can see, four right here. I'll bring you into the kitchen, let you get a look at the cabinets and the counter. There we go. And I'm going to give you a look from the kitchen. So it's nothing out here. This is where your, your garage door entrance, there's your laundry room. But we're going to swing you all the way over to the right and it brings you into the dining room area and the family room area, which I will zoom in for you right there. Very nice. And back out. So I will go into the family room and then let you look around in there and I'll give you a view back into the kitchen so you can see that as well. 
And again, we are in North Point, which is part of Estancia, but you don't get the Estancia amenities. But what I want to show you is look at the mountain views out there. You definitely get that up here because we're in the northern part of Peoria. Anyway, here is the look from the back end of the family room into the kitchen. And I apologize if the TV they have here is loud, but can't do too much. But there's a look into the kitchen and there's a worker right there. <laughs> it's just a new subdivision building and they are eagerly building out here. So as we walk into the kitchen area, I want to show you where the laundry room is. Like I said, this is the garage door entrance. They have a place here for countertops and cabinets to do some dropping off when you come in from the garage. And then right across the way is your laundry room, your favorite room, yay! <laughs> Not my favorite room by any means. I know there are some people who actually love doing laundry. No, thank you. <laughs> and here is your, here's your pantry, which is a very nice size pantry. It's not one of those itty bitty pantries. You have lots of room. You even up here, wish they would have put a shelf up there, but they didn't, but that's okay. Still nice. I'll give you another look into the family room areas so you can get another view from it. Lots of windows here. I mean, you have the back windows and then I'm gonna circle around right near the dining table. Look, you have all these windows right here and they are to the side of the house. There are the um, stairs up, but before we go up, we're going to circle around here to the primary bedroom. Yes, the primary bedroom is downstairs. You get a lot of requests having primary bedroom downstairs and this one has it. Windows to the back of the yard and this room is a very, very nice size room. Give you another look from right here. There you go. I want to take you to the window from here and show you outside because the mountains are all, all around us. But back into the room, I'm gonna take you into the bathroom, primary bathroom. They have a walk-in shower and then right across is their vanity very nice and then behind door number one we have a linen closet and then right across the way door number two i'm going to guess then it's the water closet there you go and then walking past both of those into the clothes closet which is actually a very very nice size closet how about that I'll give you another look the only thing I wish they would have done, they have single rods everywhere. I wish they would have put the high-low rods. You could have fit so many more clothes, but you can do that after you close. So coming out of the closet, I'll give you another look at the vanity. Isn't that pretty? I love the chocolate-colored um, cabinets. And here's another look at the shower into the primary bedroom and then out of the primary bedroom and that brings us right into the family room area right here and then we're going to turn around and we're going to go right here are the stairs and i will meet you upstairs okay upstairs we're at the very top of the stairs we come up we turn to the left and it brings us right into the loft you know what you don't see very often is a two in a two-story hardwood floors most of the time you're going to see carpet. I'm a huge uh, tile wood person and not carpet, only for allergies and breathing purposes. But look at this nice size loft. You have lots of windows. And again, it opens up to the mountain views out here all around. Walking past this loft, we're gonna go into the first guest bedroom up here. And it is a very nice size room. It has a window to the side of the house with slider door closets right here. I get you another look of the bedroom. Very, very nice size. Oh, that's very true. It's hard to be the person who never gives up. They have a private bathroom. 
very nice. And then a tub and shower combination for them here, right there. And then back out of the bathroom, another look of the bedroom. <clears throat> and this brings us again back into the loft. Look how nice that loft is. I love the wood floors, absolutely love it. Then we're gonna walk past this into another bedroom right here. And it again is very, very nice size room. Walk-in closet. This is a very nice walk-in closet. Give you another look of the room. And I'll give you another look of outside watch. They are just starting to build out here. You have you can pick a lot that has a gorgeous mountain view if you'd like. But you're gonna have to hurry and call me so we can help you with that. But look how big this room is. Alrighty, and as we exit this room so that's two guest bedrooms upstairs and now we're going to go down the hallway to another one this is guest bedroom three upstairs it's that nice size and again a walk-in closet show you here Look at that, very nice. So the two bedrooms up here have walk-in closets. One bedroom has the slider door, but I will tell you all the bedrooms up here are very, very nice size. Windows to the side, to the backyard and windows to the side of the house. And then as we exit this bedroom, it brings us right into the, to the shared bathroom. Two sinks, yay, hello. <laughs> Hope you're having a marvelous day. Okay, right here is the shower and tub combination. Very nice and backing out right here next to it is the door for the linen. And then we turn around, I wanna get you another look. Wait, I'll get you, get you a better look. I'll, I'll step out of the camera for you. There you go. Isn't that nice? So as we step out of that, it comes and brings us all the way into the loft again. So three guest bedrooms upstairs. The master primary bedroom is downstairs. You have an office downstairs, or you can turn that into another bedroom. So let's head on downstairs. Here are the stairs down, wood, wood floor as well. I'll meet you downstairs. Alrighty, so here's downstairs. There's a look of the kitchen, the family room, the living room. Uh, they can't let us go out. They won't let us go out to the backyard. Taylor Morrison tends to do that. Uh, but that is the gist of the backyard. The lots out here range from 5,600 to 7,000 square feet. Uh, and the recap on this house, it's the Geneva. It is five bedrooms, four baths, 2,804 square feet. The base price starting at 587,900. And remember, you have that front bedroom area. You can turn into a bedroom and a full bathroom, or you can leave it as an office, a teen room, a flex room, a computer room, whatever you are wanting and needing for you and your family. So what do you think of that? Pretty darn nice, isn't it? Let's head on over to the next one. Okie dokie, if you're new here, here is your FYI for the benefit of you, the home buyer. It's very important. Don't fast forward past this. Don't stop or delete it or do whatever. It's very important that you hear this. Whenever you go into a new build, always remember, always, always remember to bring your realtor with you because the agent inside, as nice and sweet as they are, and they will be, Remember who they work for. They work for the builder, the seller, not you. And you want to make sure you have somebody representing your back and only your back from beginning to end and everything in between. And that is exactly what we would do for you. It's called exclusive representation. So don't go in there and register online. Don't go in and register in person. Because once you do, you lose the opportunity to have somebody represent your back and just your back throughout the whole transaction. And you know what? Buying a house is usually most of the time, your biggest and largest asset, and don't you want it to work out exactly the way you want it to work out? Of course you do. Make sure you reach out to us. We will help navigate that road to you. You wanna make sure you have an experienced realtor helping you with that. So give us a call. Alrighty now, here is house number two. It's called the Shiloh. It's 1940 square feet, four bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms. 
base price, $517,990. And of course, the builder is Beezer Homes and we are in Peoria, Arizona. It says come on in, so let's go ahead and go on in and show you this beautiful home. Alrighty now. Standing in front of the front door, we're gonna take just a couple of steps. We are going to swing and turn around to the right. It brings us to the first guest bedroom and it is a nice large window out to the front of the yard. And then we have slider door closets right here. And then backing out, it is a very nice size room. It's not small by any means. And then right across the hallway from this is guest bedroom number two. And again, a very, very nice size room. Window to the side of the house. It is, let me tell you, it, it's not an itty bitty room at all. It's very, very nice. And then stepping back and out, we have linen closet here. And then here is the shared bathroom for this bedroom and this bedroom. Unfortunately, it only has one sink, which, but you know, it can work. I remember growing up, I only had one sink. I had to share it with three other siblings. We have a tub and shower combination and then a window out to um, the side of the house. So coming back, front door, bedroom one, shared bathroom, bedroom two, linen closet for that. So we're gonna continue down the hallway. We have coat closet right here. Continuing walking, we are going to turn to the left. We have garage door entrance. We have right here, cabinets and countertops to drop off some things. But right over here is another bedroom. Window to the side of the house. I do apologize, it is a little on the dark side. They don't have an over light here, overhead light, just a lamp. But still, I wanna let you know, it is a very, very nice size room. And it has slider door closets right here. So the other two guest bedrooms are up front and this one is off to the side of the house. And then right here is is and should be your coat closet. No, no, no. How about that? That is your guest bathroom. There you go. So guest bathroom right there. This room will have to walk down the hallway and right here, oh, no, keep walking. Right here is the bathroom for it, right there. Unless, unless, here's an idea, unless you turn that into an office or playroom or computer room for the kids. That is an option if you only need two extra rooms. As we walk into the main part of the house, it is open. It's open, light, and bright. And I will just let you take it in. It's very, very nice. A lot of windows, they bring in lots of natural light. I'll come back over here so you can see the kitchen a little better. Very, very nice. They have stainless steel appliances. They have gas stove top, large pantry, but I wanna show you this kitchen island, how long it is. It is, it is really, really long, look at that. It seats very comfortably, four, but you could definitely put more in there if you wanted to. It is definitely a long kitchen island. Look at that. Then kitchen cabinets. You know, sometimes I wish they would just go all the way up to the ceiling because that space up here, to me, is nothing but a dust collector. At least that's just my opinion. <laughs> but you know what? Some people can put things up there to decorate. But the kitchen itself is very, very nice. I love it. It's open, it's bright. Everything is right here. So if you're entertaining, having parties, or having gatherings, the person who's doing the cooking and the food prep, they feel part of it. They don't feel isolated from anything. So there's the family room. And then right in front, right here is the kitchen uh, dining family table. Here, around here is your uh, pantry. Let me open that up for you. You have double door pantries, which is nice. You have a very nice sized pantry and you could even add more shelving up here to give you more shelves. So, oops, so there you go. It's like, don't break it, Mary Kay. Alrighty, so here is your laundry room. 
And then it says, take a look inside. So let's go take a look inside. That is where your furnace is. So glad we looked. And then again, here is the kitchen, the family room, the dining room. And I'm going to bring you around into the primary room, which has beautiful views of the backyard, mountain views, nice windows, light and bright. And I will show you the views again, which you can avail yourself out here as well. If you pick, come here and pick early on the lots, I will show you the bathroom, soaker tub, walk-in shower, vanity. White, they have white cabinets and also uh, the gray counters. You like it? Here is the shower. Let's see if I can back up for you so you can see it. Give you another look at it from this side. Nice soak hotel in a shower. And then we just go into the clothes closet. It's not too big, depending on how many clothes you have. <laughs> but then again, the house is just under 2,000 square feet, 1940 to be exact. Here's another look at the vanity. Then here's your water closet. And here's another look of the primary bedroom. Isn't that nice? Very nice. All the rooms here are very, very nice size. Uh, and I want to show you some of the mountain views that you might be able to avail yourself of. Look at that. How would you like to have that? That is just nice. And then they have artificial turf pavers out there. They won't let us go out there. The lots out here, they range from 5,600 to 7,000 square feet, which is nice. So walking out of the primary room brings us right into the kitchen. There you go. And a recap on this house. It's called the Shiloh. It, the base price is $517,900. It is four bedrooms, two to two and a half baths. It also has an EV car charger. All the homes here that Beezer makes here in North Point community, they come with EV car chargers. So if you have an electric car, perfect. We got you covered on that. So, uh, just to repeat it, in case I forgot to tell you everything, it's the Shiloh, 517,900 is the price, four bedrooms, two to two and a half baths, 1940 square feet. And where are we? North Point Community in Peoria, Arizona. Beezer Homes. What do you think of that? Pretty darn nice, if you ask me. So what do you think of those two nice homes? Really nice, nice homes built by Beezer Homes, and again, we are in North Point in North part of Peoria, Arizona. So you might be asking, where exactly is North Point? I don't remember or know where it is. It is, is part of Vistancia. However, you do not get or get to partake in any of the amenities with Vistancia because North Point has their own amenities up here and the HOA fee for being in North Point is $133. And what exactly do you get for $133 a month? Well, you get a pool, playground, a yoga room, a room to do whatever you want, stretching or whatever you want to do in there, as well as an activity center. Plus, what you also get is the beautiful desert scenery and the mountain views up here. If you come early, you'll be able to pick out a lot and get and pick whatever lot you want so you can get those mountain views if that's something that's important to you. They do have lunch specials and they do change periodically, so you're gonna definitely wanna make sure you call us to make sure you get the correct ones and the updated ones. But as of right now, their lender specials are pretty good. They are 3% of the base price going toward closing costs. They also have quick move-in. So if you need to have a quick move-in rather than a ground build-up, their time frame for a quick move-in is anywhere between 30 to 45 days. So if that's something of interest to you, give us a call. They have lots and lots of different floor plans and models available with the variations in each home for that quick move-in. Another nice thing I mentioned earlier, all their homes come with EV car chargers. So if you have an electric car and you need that, they already have it here installed in every single one of their homes. So it comes with it. In case you don't know who I am, I'm Mary Kay Marino and welcome to Hello Arizona Living and Real Estate. We get calls, texts, emails almost every single day from people just like you looking for help 
to make a move to sunny Arizona, or maybe you already live here and you want to go from one city over to another city. Whatever you, wherever you are, we will definitely help you, guide you, and support you at the highest level. And whatever your time frame is, weeks, months, hours, minutes, or years, that's perfectly okay with us. We will help you, guide you, and support you at the highest level possible. So make sure you reach out to us. All our information is right here so we can make it a smooth move for you out here to Peoria, Arizona in North Point, which is part of the Estancia community. So until we see you around town next time, show you around town next time, you have a marvelous, awesome, incredible day. Bye for now, and we'll see you next time.